Several former NFL players are suing the league's disability program, claiming it wrongfully denies disability benefits despite evidence from medical um, and team records. They also allege some doctors are paid less for accurately diagnosing physical injuries and mental impairments. Now, when CBS News reached out to the NFL, they released a statement saying the disability program is fair and its board, quote, reviews the activities of the office and operation of the benefit program, including every contested application for benefits to ensure that retired players who are entitled to disability benefits receive them as intended. So what's happening here? To talk about this, we're joined now by former NFL defensive tackle and one of the players involved in the lawsuit, Jason Alford. And we're also joined by Sam Katz, a co-counsel representing the former NFL players who are all a part of this. Um, uh, welcome to you both. Sam, let's just begin with you and have you stack this up for us. Talk to us about the extent of this lawsuit and what exactly it is you're all seeking. Thank you, Elena Nero. Um, now, after years of, of players putting their bodies, their brains, and their minds on the line with the NFL's promise of assistance should they need it, disabled players are currently being deprived of their rightful benefits by the institution they trusted with their health and their lives. Now, federal courts across the country have already begun pulling back the curtain on these defendants, uh, their violations of ERISA, including a flagrant disregard of the full and fair review requirement, biased claims administration, and a disturbing pattern of illogical and inconsistent interpretations to the detriment of, of, of players. Now, these, these former players deserve far more from an organization worth billions of dollars than, than this sham process in which there is little to no chance of success. And, and, and players are simply asking the plan. Uh, to fulfill its overdue legal responsibilities uh, to them, rather than to continue to draw, uh, try and dodge accountability uh, through through biased administration and and these highly paid doctors uh, that they've been doing every step of the way. Um, I just want to tell our viewers, Sam mentioned ERISA. That is a federal law. Um, ERISA is short for the M Employee Retirement Income Security Act. Basically, they set the rules for benefit plans mm. um, provided by employers. But, Jay, I want to hear about your experience um, because it's interesting to note the role here of the players union. Um, the NFL Players Association says they have eligibility requirements and administrative procedures set up. Tell us about what you saw. Tell us what those requirements and procedures are and what it is that you went through with your particular case. Um, well, when I went through the uh, the, the program, uh, I would say the doctors were very vague in the, in the whole process. Um, you know, I was there, went through the process, uh, and I would say as I was going through, like if there was even anything, something wrong with me, I didn't even get the answer for it. So even if I wanted to take that information back home, uh, there was nothing I can get checked for because, again, they didn't give me my results or anything like that. So it was, uh, yeah, very vague and frustrating. And we can only imagine, you know, the rest of us, if you have an ailment that's connected to your profession and you're seeking treatment, to not have the basic information, the results from tests, as you mentioned. Um, so what, Jay, are you and other players seeking now and what do you hope comes from this lawsuit um i guess uh in this lawsuit we're just trying to uh to hopefully not you know well we're, we're demanding that the nfl just you know do their part you know because i just don't want to see uh something like this happen to you know current players or former players you know later on down the line you know, Sam, if the players win this lawsuit, what would that mean for those physicians who are accused of minimizing symptoms and, and complaints? Yeah, yeah. As, you, as you mentioned, these physicians, um, there is this statistical pattern that the higher their physicians are paid, uh, the higher likelihood that they are denying benefits to, to players and, and the higher their denial rate. So what we're seeking uh, amongst you know players also being able to get the benefits that they deserve uh, and removal of board members is removal of these these highly paid biased positions uh, from the program so that players in the future can uh, actually receive a fair chance here. We'll certainly keep a close eye on this lawsuit yeah. as it proceeds. Jason Alford and Sam Katz, thanks to you both.
Thank you. Thank you.